Hello everyone, since the next movie review I'm going to do is Godzilla vs. Biollante, I figured now would be a good time to take a look at the Godzilla suit used in the film. So today we're going to get to know the Bio-Goji suit. This suit was first used in the film Godzilla vs. Biollante. The Biogoji's name comes from taking the kaiju's name Biollante and putting it together with the Japanese word for Godzilla, Goji. Godzilla vs. Biollante, the sequel to the film The Return of Godzilla, was released in theaters on December 16th, 1989 in Japan. Instead of reusing the 84 Goji suit, Godzilla was given a whole new look yet again. The design of the Bio Goji would set the trend for the rest of the Godzilla suits featured in the Heisei era. Toho wanted to convey a feeling of mass and power with the Bio Goji suit, so they added significant musculature to the chest, shoulder, and thigh area. The head was reduced and the neck was elongated. The tail was shorter than the previous suit and the underside was smooth, which was common in Godzilla suits from 1962 to 1975. Other features of the 84 Goji suit, such as fangs, ears, and the four toes, were retained. Godzilla's face was changed radically to give the monster a fierce expression. There were several changes made, such as a feline-like upper lip, multiple rows of shark-like teeth and eyes with large brown irises and very little white showing. The irises were enlarged to fill most of the eye sockets, which ended up adding to Godzilla's personality, making him look more intelligent and cunning. Godzilla's teeth were increased to include a double row of sharp teeth in the upper and lower jaws. Additionally, the lateral dorsal fins were enlarged almost to the size of the center row. Previously, Godzilla suits featured a zipper that ran along one side of the body to allow entry for the suit actor. With the Bio Goji, both the land and sea suits have dorsal plates mounted on a separate block-shaped piece of rubber. This could easily be detached from the suit using Velcro strips. This new system allowed the dorsal plates to be swapped. A special set of electronic light-up dorsal plates were made in fiber-reinforced plastic. The light-up dorsal plates would glow up electronically, giving more realism when Godzilla's dorsal plates emitted light. Similar to the previous suit, the Bio Goji weighed 242 pounds, but this time the suit was actually made to fit the suit actor Kenshapiro Setsuma. This made it much easier for the actor to move in the suit. A second suit was built for filming water scenes. It weighed 176 pounds. This suit was called the C-1989 Godzilla. The suit was made out of a lighter material. Although constructed from the same molds as the land suit, the sea suit had some differences, like a pronounced crest at the top of the head and odd-looking square shoulders. The sea suit was used for Godzilla's grand appearance as he lumbers out of the volcano Mount Mahara. A mechanical upper half was also made and constructed from the same molds as the costume. The mechanical upper half was used for close-up shots. This method was used in other films during the Heisei era with varying degrees of success in matching the mechanical figures with the Godzilla suits. A puppet was created of Godzilla's head, back, and shoulders. They were used in close-up shots. An NG version of the sea suit was built to replace the sea Godzilla because it had fallen into disrepair due to age and heavy use. Because this NG Godzilla suit didn't match the head and neck style of the one that had already been filmed, further alterations were required before Toho could film scenes after Osaka. The Bio Goji was the second suit built for Godzilla vs. Biollante. The first attempt was deemed unacceptable, presumably by special effects director Kochi Katakiwa. The first attempt suit only appeared in publicity photos and the scene where Godzilla approaches the Twin 21 Towers. The first attempt suit had a flatter head, a thicker neck, and slimmer thighs than the Bio Goji. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one, G-Fans!